Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melina. I do videos about makeup, plants, my life, and travel. But today, this box contains carnivorous plants, specifically butterworts. Oh my God, they're gonna kill all the insects in my whole house. I can't wait. Did I also mention they're so colorful and pretty? But anyways, the company that I got these are from Rainbow Carnivorous Plant. I got the mystery box, which included 10 butterworts. They have a whole array and variety of carnivorous plants from Nepenthes, Venus flytraps, butterworts, and other ones that I'm not familiar with. Like I said, I'm a beginner, but I am so excited. They have so many mystery boxes. This has 10. They have ones with three and five, I believe. So check out their website and oh my God, I'm so excited. Let me just unbox these because they've been sitting here all day and I haven't had a chance to unbox them. But before I unbox these carnivorous plants that are new to me, please do subscribe to my channel and if you guys already fell in love with my personality you can follow me at melina glam on instagram facebook snapchat tiktok and i believe that's it but without further ado let's unbox these carnivorous plants from rainbow carnivorous plants Okay, you guys, so I got this box today. Today is Wednesday, and I ordered these plants on Sunday, but their shipments start on Monday. So Monday, too, it only took two days to get here. I believe this carnivorous plant nursery is from California, and I'm in Texas, so it only took two days. And yeah, let's see what goodies are inside this box. I specifically got butterworts, also known as Punguicula. Punguicula? Is that, am I saying it right? Oh my god. And it was a mystery box with 10 of these inside. Butterworts or Pung or Punguicula? <laughs> or Punguicula? Oh my god. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to say. Are the little flower looking sticky flowers? The petals are sticky and then the little insects fly on them and they get stuck there and yeah they prey on fungus gnats and flies and ah, i'm so excited i'm not gonna have any more fungus gnats anymore because i do have over 50 house plants maybe way more i'm not sure so i'm excited for that part but yeah butterworts are so pretty and then they flower themselves and their flowers are so pretty they have um depending on the pinguicula you get the flower can be purple white i seen red and yellow and also the pen Pinguiculas themselves are usually, I believe, like green, depending on the species. And then if you sun stress it and give it enough light, it'll turn into the, co the color that it sun stresses to, which can be like pink or purple or like a tan color don't quote me on that but i'm just a beginner but they have different ones i think there's like two specific types of uh pinguicula some temperate and some like tropical i believe the ones that i got are from mexico so i guess they would be tropical i am not sure you guys i'm a newbie to carnivorous plants i believe the tropical ones don't go into dormancy so they won't lose all their foliage i think they go into a succulent phase it gets smaller and succulent looking so yeah anyways let me open this box never ordered carnivorous plants so um I believe they come unrooted and you just put them in sphagnum moss or um, it's a different type of soil. Um, carnivorous plants. You cannot grow carnivorous plants in regular soil. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Do your research. Um, I don't like soil, so I'm going to grow them in sphagnum moss. And if you didn't know, 
carnivorous plants. Um, you use distilled water, rain water. You can't just use tap water because you're going to kill all your plants. And definitely you can't use regular soil because it has fertilizer. And if you didn't know, carnivorous plants, they don't, you're not supposed to fertilize them because they get their fertilizer from bugs, either bugs or you, there's like special fertilizer specifically for carnivorous plants. So yeah, um, do your research if you're gonna order some. Okay, you guys, so we get a thank you little card. I believe these are instructions. Let's see, it says thank you. Butterwort Pinguicula Care Instructions. Mature size. So it, it, it says mature size and they put the sizes of them from one to uh, five inches in diameter. The soil they prefer consists of perlite, peat moss, vermiculite. Um, make sure your soil is moist before potting, but do not overwater. That's good. Do not use miracle Grow on butterworts. I told you, you can't fertilize them like a regular plant. Feeding. You can feed it bugs. Oh no, dried blood worms. I don't do worms or fish food. I could do fish food every two to three weeks. You can also spray Schultz on their leaves. I think I'm gonna do that route, which is a fertilizer. It's cactus food, uh, fertilizer, cactus food, I guess and follow the directions. It's a little green bottle, I believe, and it's specifically for cactuses and succulents. And yeah. The humidity, you're supposed to have them in a 50% humidity to 80 with airflow. Let's see, water. During its active growing season, provide enough distilled water, like I said. During the winter dormancy, this is something I need to educate myself more on, you guys. Reduce watering to, to a minimum and allow media to dry out regularly. So that's in winter time. I definitely got to do that. I guess it's kind of a dormancy, but not really. You can use the tray method to water your plant's bottom watering and avoid watering the plant's crown. That's what I'm actually doing with the one that I have. I do have a Pinguicula hanka and I have a couple of sundews. Sundews, I think that's how you say them. Oh my God. Um, yeah. The temperature should be between 55 and 80 on dormancy. None, dormancy none, but reduced watering. I guess they don't, it, it's a different type of dormancy. They have none, but reduce watering and photo period, photo period to encourage winter succulent stay. What's photo period? I gotta Google that. <laughs> pot, please make sure that your pot has proper drainage. Okay, we're gonna follow that. We are a small growing business that is trying to share wonderful plants, but we would appreciate if you can leave positive reviews. Um, I definitely don't have a problem with doing that. Depending on the unboxing, I'm sure it's gonna be really good. To, okay, acclimating. To acclimate your new plant, please avoid direct light, sunlight for a few days. Hmm, okay, I didn't know that. This will help the plant recover faster from shipping stress. Okay, so I guess I can put it on the side of my grow lights, but not directly. That makes sense. Thank you and happy growing. Okay, that was nice of them. I got a little education course on Pinguicula. Okay, we got a lot of um, construction paper, tissue paper. Ooh. Okay. So they put um, five of them on top, and I believe five on the bottom. And I like that they put the names of them. I already see one that I recognize. Oh my god. Oh my god, I see a few that I recognize. Like I said, I've been looking at Pinguiculus and doing my research, so I know the names. They all have different names. There's like a variety and array of different types of Pinguiculus, different colors, shapes, sizes. But yeah, let's get started. So this, like I said, is the 10-piece mystery box. Okay, the first one that I got is 
Panguicula Weather. Oh, oh, she's so pretty! Oh my god, you guys. These are baby ones. By the, by the way, the website said these are smaller than your um regular size ones, which is okay. It's a challenge for me to grow them out. Oh my god, she is so pretty. This again is Pinguicula Weather, and it's the color's like a lilac. It on camera looks pink, but I guess it's like a baby pink purple. But yeah, you guys, she is so pretty. Oh my god. Wow, she is gorgeous. <laughs> She's so pretty, you guys. Wait, okay, so this is Pinguicula Weather. I'm gonna unbox the ones that I'm familiar with. This is Pinguicula Pirouette. Just carefully, I do not wanna hurt anything. Ooh, this is definitely green. Oh, can y'all see? So I looked her up and this is supposed to stress as a baby pink definitely a pink pinguicula so i love pink any shade of pink is welcomed here so i'm so excited for the pinguicula pirouettes and it definitely gets bigger and she's cute i can't wait to um pot her up we're gonna put her away for now okay you guys the next pinguicula is pinguicula species minas days bay what de as asbestos minas de asbestos this one is also purple <gasps> oh my god oh my god no they didn't you guys no they freaking didn't there's two in here <gasps> you guys There's two in here. You guys, there's two. Literally two. They are so sweet for that. They didn't have to do that. Oh my god. It's like green inside and then it's like... It's like a purple. Definitely a purple as well. A lavenderish purple. Yeah, you guys, I can't wait to sun stress and grow these. They are so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, we're moving on to the next one. So I've, I've unboxed three. I was going to unbox that one, but that's a free gift. I want to do it for last. Something about rainbow carnivorous plants that I saw in every unboxing is that they give you a free gift in every unboxing so i definitely knew i was gonna get one um i guess i kind of did i wasn't sure because what if like i don't know like businesses are not doing good right now or something i don't know and maybe they took out the free gift but i definitely got a free gift so i'm so excited the next one i'm unboxing is Pinguicula and marginata times mox tesume mock tesume <gasps> you guys, I got two! Oh my god. They keep giving me two. They are so sweet. They are so sweet, you guys. Literally. I got two in here. Look at that. Oh my god. And they have purple! This one's opposite of the other one. Um, they have green foliage and they stress to like a lavender lilac color. Ah, look at that. Okay, you guys. And the leaf shape of these pinks is longer, skinnier. So yeah, I think that's the emarginata part of the pink. So with pinguiculus, you can definitely breed them, crossbreed them between different pinguiculas. I'm not sure if you can um, do it with, uh, if there's a specific ping you can only do it with. I know with 
house plants like anthuriums, um, they're not all in the same class. So I'm not sure if it works like that with pinks. Let me know. But yeah, this one again is Pinguicula emarginata times mes mectosome. And it's the petioles, the leaf, the leaf size is longer, like Medusa-like, and um, the inside is a pretty purple lavender. Oh my god, and I got two. They need to stop. And we're gonna get the other half. This is crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> no way. I got the ping that... Okay, you guys. So there was one specifically that I wanted, which was the Pinguicula Joanna. And guess what? It's in here. Ah! I was going to order that separately, but I said, oh my God, you never know what if they throw it in there or... And um, this was kind of on the pricer side, but I understand why. Now they're, they're so pretty. They... Each ping, let me talk about price real quick. Each ping usually goes from like $20 all the way to like $50. I don't think it exceeds more than that. Unless it's really rare and I don't know. But yeah, compared to house plants, these are cheap. But anyways, my mystery box was a hundred and I think 30? 130 with taxes and everything um let me look it up and put it on the screen but it was in the hundreds for 10 pings which is not bad you're getting ten dollars a ping which are smaller but you can just grow them out yourself and um propagate them and you'll have more babies so this little box is worth it one of my house plants is definitely worth like way more than this. So I'm excited to get into pinks because they're so much cheaper. If you go on Facebook market, they sell for like $30, 25 to $30, depending on the size. And you don't get to choose. I mean, here you don't get to choose, but you get like an array of different cool ones. On Facebook market, I believe there's only like the basic ones, the green basic ones. And some of the sellers don't even know what you're getting. They're like a known species. So anyways, my rant's over. Let's continue. Okay, you guys, the next ping is Pinguicula agnata el lobo times heme... Oh my god. Hemipophytica? Hemipophytica? Oh my god, I can't say these. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hemipophytica, I believe. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys, I was also looking at this ping. Oh my god. Okay, this one's more of a... Like, the leaves are closer together. It's more like a donut, I guess. I'm so bad at describing, like, stuff, you guys. This is, like, it looks more, like, close. Like, the rosette is more, like, closer to each other. This reminds me of my hanka that I have. But it's definitely, definitely green with hints of lavender definitely lavender but i believe it, it like the coloring is like multi-colored it's kind of like um what am i trying to say it's like a mute muted color it's oh my god it's a blended color i guess in makeup you would say blended i'm not sure how to describe it you guys but definitely is green with lavender and the shape of it is different than the other ones. It's so cute. I love it, you guys. That one I can say Pinguicula Le Leilani. Le Leilani. This is definitely like a grape dark purple color. And oh my god, look at that. It's definitely more purple purple wow you guys look at that i'm so you guys i am so impressed with 
I am so impressed with rainbow carnivorous plants because every ping that I've had has the color already because I know on their website it says that they're gonna maybe come green and you just gotta sun stress them but these definitely have the color look at that it's so cute oh my god you guys I'm so excited to grow these out it's so pretty it's like unreal like you could see the green turning into purple already okay you guys the next pinguicula i have is el hercier times mesophytica definitely have an array of colors and different shades of purples and pinks and greens <laughs> you guys this pink is so pretty Oh my god. Okay, you guys. So this pink has the pointier leaves. Pointier leaves. And again, it's like, it's like uh, the color. The color is like another shade of purple pink. But the leaf shape is so pretty, you guys. It's definitely like a pointier leaf, more of a rosette type of pink. Ah, she's gonna fall. <laughs> okay, you guys, you get the point. She's definitely pretty. She has green and a shade of purple. I'm definitely getting my favorite color in all these pinks. I'm living for the purple. That's my favorite color. This next pink is You Could Do. You Could Do. You, actually, you could do 1717. Maybe purple. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, you guys, here she. Oh, she's a little baby. Okay, you guys, here she is, the Pinguicula. You could do 1717. This one's a rosette type of pink. It has like the pointy rosette leaves, but the leaves are more like on top of each other versus like, like a regular flower. If you get what I'm saying, they're layered more. Oh my God, I don't want her to fall. Oh, 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 baby girl. Definitely on the pinkier side, and yeah, she has green, and I'm excited to grow these. I believe this one gets bigger. Next pinguicula is Laxifolia times Wawa Peng, Wawa Peng, Wawa Peng. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, she's definitely a more of a hairier like pinguicula. She's green. And I was looking on their website. It can sun the tips can sun the tips can sun stress and look pink. I believe it was like a pinky brown. I'm not too sure because they didn't have a lot of pictures. They only had one picture and the tips inside were like a pinky brown, like I said, so yeah, you guys, she's so cute. The leaf shape is definitely, it looks like on the longer side. So we'll see. Okay, you guys, I'm down to my last two pings and I saved the best for last. So like I told you guys, I've been wanting, I definitely wanted for sure the Pinguicula Joanna. It's so pretty. It has a pretty name. So like I definitely wanted it and and rainbow carnivorous plants gave it to me. So here we have the Pinguicula Joanna. And I already know this is a pink that's purple. So, oh my God. Oh my God, here we go. Pinguicula Joanna. Or maybe pink. Oh my God, it's pink, pink. And they gave me two. They gave me two. They gave me two. 
<laughs> I guess it's like purple. It is purple. It is purple. It is purple, you guys. They gave me two. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. It's like a fuchsia pink, pink wigula. Oh my. It looks like the Hanka. It kind of does. They have the similar. They have a similar leaf structure this one and the hanka um oh my god the bright purple type of pink and it's so cute and they gave me two you guys oh my god i am so happy i definitely wanted this pink so bad and they gave me two wow you guys delivered i'm speechless it has come down to the last ping. And this was the free gift. This is the free gift. This is the Pinguicula Larcia, I believe. I unboxed an Larcia times something else earlier. So. so it definitely says free gift just for me, just for you. Okay, you guys, let's see. This is the last pain of the video. I feel like I got like a whole variety. I feel like I got a lot of pings. I'm gonna lose. I hopefully I don't mix and match the pinks. That would be a nightmare to look them up. And oh my God, because some are similar in color. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, she's definitely very small, but very cute. She's definitely on the smaller side, you guys. Okay, you guys, there's the free gift. She's a puny little baby. Okay, you guys, there's the free gift. This ping has, again, a rosette type of pattern and the leaves. Oh, she fell. They're definitely rooted. Definitely have roots, you guys. Okay, so this ping is definitely a rosette type. And the leaves are pointy. They're layered on top of each other. And the color is like a brown. A brownish, brownish dark purple, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, that is Pinguicula Elarcia, you guys. This is the last ping that I got, the free gift. All right, you guys, which one was your favorite ping? I love the rosette ones i love the joanna one i like the free gift i'm not sure i'll definitely keep you updated and tell you which one's my favorite and which one i don't kill hopefully i don't kill none of them um knock on wood oh my god you guys but yeah if you guys enjoyed this unboxing please subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want your own set of pings, this was the 10 piece mystery box from Rainbow Carnivorous Plants. Yeah, go check out their website and I believe they have a discount code. I am not too sure. I think for your first purchase or if you sign up for emails, they, they give you a 10% discount. So check them out and yeah, um, give them a shout out. I'm definitely going to give a good as review on three of my pings. I got two little babies on each. They didn't have to do that on top of the free gifts. So I feel like I got four free pings, four free pings for free. And I already expected that kind of with the free gift because I watched other unboxings, but they don't have to do that for you guys. And yeah thanks for watching you guys and again i'm a newbie if i butchered all these names i'm so sorry i'm definitely new to pings but yeah you guys thanks for watching my name is melina and i'll see you on my next video bye guys